Hi everybody, this is Matt O, the host of the Kent's Man Player Baseball Podcast Show, where I talk about baseball once a week, talking about my thought of the game, sport, hopefully connect with, you know, fans and get an inside depth of what fans think about this team and bomb. Today I want to share with you guys about what would I do if I was commissioner for a day or just commissioner of MLB. I have a few ideas that I would like to share with you. The first one I know I would get a lot of kind of err or hate from is shorten the season. Shorten the season to like 95 games. I'm not talking like 82, I'm not talking, you know, 16 or anything. Just shorten the season a little bit. You know, hear me out before you complain to me about something on this. Players are getting injured, and some of these injuries are stress factors, some of them by the way they play the game, but it's worn their body out by playing every day for almost nine months out of the year. That would include spring training games. So add that up, that's a lot of games. That's not just 162 games. They're also talking about their spring training games too. Well, a certain game. Yes, I know owners wouldn't like it because they're losing money. But, hold on. How about we have an in-season tournament from May to June for just one month in May? You know, from mid-May to beginning of June or something where we have like something like the NBA did with in-season training. I think it will draw more fans interested in the game, but also it will be a fun, hyped-up beginning because, let's face it, the first half, it's not really that exciting. It's just how I view baseball in the season. The first half, I'm not really that excited about it. Yes, I'm excited to have it back, but to me, in my mind, the first half is more a play around, that I call it, where teams and players are trying to figure out where they at, how they feel about a team, and they just go from there. The second half is like, okay, let's get down to business. We got to win this and go all the way, you know. Why not make it exciting? So I say, let's do that. And the other thing I would like to bring in is the All-Star Game. I like watching the All-Star Game. I think it's fun, exciting. You know, even though I'm kind of bummed out and sad to hear that when I heard actually that they're not going to have home field advantage challenge. I think it would help a lot for fans and players to be a little bit more. Yeah, it's just fun to see, you know, players connecting with one another. But about we have the old fun game of whoever wins gets home field advantage. You know, that was fun. You all get excited. You end up rooting for the team from American League or National League. And then the home run derby. The home run derby is something I feel like 
Yeah, it's very fun to have right there. Go back to chain there. I'm not against the whole time clock thing. But when they start using it for the whole home run derby, then it became not that fun. I would like it if they use the 10, ten out for the first two rounds. Or we can do it right there. Okay, first round, you have 10 out. Hit as many home runs you can after the 10 out. Then second round, okay, hit many home runs you can with five out. Okay, final round, now you got four minutes to hit as many home runs you can. And then whoever wins, that is the winner. That's how I think it should be. I think it will be fun. It will draw people into it, you know, and it will be fun for the players to make them feel a little bit comfortable. You know, because it's kind of fun to see them hit fouls every now and even though they're a little down here, but you know. Let's see how it works that way. Um, the other thing that I would like to see is Kid game for free. I think kids should be able to game for free, and we should be focusing on the younger culture of the youth, where bring them to love the game. I hear a lot of families have big families, and a lot of families that can't afford to go because the ticket price. Well, what if it is some First, to 10 years old, kid can get in for free. And then after that, buy tickets. You know, let's make it acceptable, sorry, acceptable for kid to get in. And then, what would my other idea be? Um, my other idea is Appreciation Day. Appreciation Day, I'm not trying to make it political on anything. So let's take appreciation of going back and appreciating, appreciating those who serve our country from veterans to people serving the military now to paramedics and, or I, or I did say military, people serving in the military bomb, firefighters and police officers should have some kind of appreciation. You know, yes, every profession had a bad ad. But I think if we do enough research on the good ones and also show the good and stay away from the bad, this will help. You know, because it's not easy what they do every day to sacrifice in their life. It takes a certain person to be willingly go and stand on front line for our country, or go in a burning building, or go in a armed robbery, and question if they didn't make it home to see their family. You know, they could have a day of wearing those people's last names on the field, you know? We all don't have the talent to be playing professional ball, but why not show that appreciation to those who serve? You know, 
I don't know how that would work, and I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of fans will say, oh, I want Mike Trout to wear my last name on his jersey, you know. Yeah, I can see a little issue, but, you know, I'm sure something can be worked out of that. Um, what's the other one I would like to see? I would like to see Team take a little recognition of teaching the younger generation the ball play, the great ball players that were on a team in past times of, you know, Hall of Fame players or great players that were on a team past times. You know, like, excuse me, I need some water. You know, having a Willie Mays day. Like the San Francisco, San Francisco Giants did after he passed. Um, I don't think they could just do that one day. I think they could do that at a yearly event. And do that for all the players that are on the wall of fame or the wall of hall, you know, that team. You know, take recognition where everybody will wear 24 on May 24th or something. You know, make it fun. But it has to be in the home stand. It can't just be, you know, a way team, a way game, I mean, where they're winning 24 in Seattle. All right, come on. Do it in the home field to teach the home fan the history of great one that made the game great. You know, I think that would be a great learning experience for everybody. Yes, you know, we're already kind of working that way with Jackie Robinson Day. And I think that's cool that made we dedicated it. But what about teaching the generation of the other great players that made the game great. You know, that's my other idea. My other one that I would love to see and I hope to see it sometime in my lifetime is removing blackout. Because it's just ridiculous for the way it is. Um, for how much people pay and not be able to play the home game on MLB TV is stupid. What's the point of doing MLB TV if I can't watch my home state team? Isn't that the whole purpose of, you know, having MLB TV instead of doing MLB TV and Bally Sport or Bally Sport? You know, and they could also have it set up like, okay, well, I want to watch this game regardless if it's on MLB, I mean, regardless if it's on ESPN or something. Why not have it set up to like premium because not everybody wants to get like cable. You know, they just want to watch the sport and that's it. You know. Or they could have, you know, like I said, a premium where it's like, okay, you can watch any game, even if it's on ESPN or Apple TV, just pay this and we'll give you all access. I think that would be, you know, a good way to move the fan base closer to the lower game. 
Um, another thing I think they should have is a deadline for free agents. For how long teams and players take a sign is just kind of taking, you know, the fun of, you know, seeing players sign. I feel like if we put a deadline when teams and players can sign, it will speed up the process. You know, like, okay, you have so this, so spring training, let's say, um, let's say February 14th. You have till February 14th to sign. And if you don't sign by this, then you can't play at all. Yes, they're losing money, they're losing playing time, but hey, this is becoming ridiculous how long it takes to sign. Either you're an in or out, and especially if, you know, for players and teams, I hear that they're 100% sure that they're signing this player, we'll sign them of it. What's all the weight of, you know, negotiation? You know, we need to speed up the process. You know, we have a trade deadline, let's make a free agent deadline. And from what I heard, Rob Manfred's a little annoyed with that too, that he wants to work on something like that too. Um, so that's my, my thought of, you know, things I would like to see happen of MLB on my other one that I would like to see is, a postseason bracket tournament. A postseason bracket tournament, I think, would be fun for the team and fans. Yes, it would be a little long, um, but with my short and season idea, I say, you know, end the season. Early September and start the, the postseason season bracket tournament getting going on probably mid September going into October and play it like a bracket where we have win and then the loser column. Winners go here, if you win, you go in this winning circle, if you lose, you get one more chance by playing in the loser's column. If you lose, that's it, you're out. But if you win, you're back in the game. You know, <coughs> college baseball, they have a, a bracket and then they have a double elimination. I like it, I think it's very really fun. I have fun watching college baseball, I don't know about you guys. Um, but I think that will be a fun way to, you know, watch the postseason. I know I would have fun and a little bit more excitement. And it would give everybody a fair chance to play it. I mean, who doesn't like an underdog, really? You know, I, it would give everybody a chance. I mean, yes, still kind of, you know, pick the team that are in there. You know, do the magic number stuff and all that, you know, fun stuff. But make it, you know, like a, a bracket challenge. In a, in a way, it's kind of like that, but not really. We don't have the losers column. So, you know, why not you know, do that? That's my idea of... Being a commissioner, and that's how I would do things. I think it would be fun that way. Um, other ideas, I don't know. That's all I have for you. I'm trying to think, what there any other ideas that I have? Oh, yes, there 
work. The the Brickwood game that we had, or the Honor William Mays and the Negro League, I think should have been a three game series. I think we should have that as a three game series. And hold on, I need to get some more water. Have it at a free game series and have it at an annual yearly event. That is saying that I was kind of bummed out that they aren't doing it anymore. It's a field of dreams. I think they could bring that back, have that at a yearly event. Where every team partakes in it with a different team every year. Yes, it will be kind of hard because you got newer teams like the Rays and Blue Jays and Seattle and Arizona. That, right, how would this work? But I think. You can make it work somehow, you know, with all the graphics and stuff. I feel like there will be fun ways. Or otherwise, you just use the old, like, what is it? I think Tampa, I think Washington Nationals took over for the Senators. So they can just use the old Senators logo name as the old school logo. Old logo. Uh, so, that would be my other idea of what I think it's been. And one of the other things I would like to see, um, one of my favorite movies is The Sandlot. I would like to see something like a Sandlot game happen. You know, once a year, maybe a one one game or two game series, just for fun. I think instead of you know, big fancy all star game, they could do something like that. You know, once a year, maybe. When they go back to L.A., you know, they could do that in a way to honor the Sandlot movie series. Um, so those are my ideas. Um, if you like them, hit like. If you like this episode, podcast. If not, I'm sorry. I'm not an expert. I'm just a fan. I'm not an adult. I'm just a fan that love the game of baseball and come on here one for week to talk about it. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great day and enjoy some baseball and have a good day.